crypto lightsaber back again with another video and in this video we are going to talk about spark point srk okay if you've been following spark point you'll know that over the past few days and weeks spark point has been going absolutely crazy okay if you've been following the channel you know that I was talking about Spark Point way back in the day, okay? Even before this, before it got on Uniswap, okay? So it was on Bitmark, uh, Bitmark way before that. And there were pumps before it got to this level. And this was the last pump that we made some big money on, okay? It consolidated sideways for a very long time. And after that, we've seen this massive pump that I unfortunately missed, okay? Um, because they do have another token, which is their DeFi token. And that, that is the S Fuel token. I did get in on that pre-sale in the, in the private sale. And we'll have a quick look at that as well while we're at it. Because that is, um, uh, well, I can't actually see the chart on here because it's a Binance Smart Chain token. But yeah, um, the S Fuel token, we, we'll look at it on CoinGecko. The S Fuel token um, has actually been performing pretty well as well, being a Binance smart chain token of course binance smart chain has been leading the way for some of this bull run um if we look for the s fuel okay so this hasn't disappointed unfortunately i don't get all my tokens at once okay because this is on a vesting schedule me being an early investor into this project so i get some tokens like once every month okay and i'm expecting an, an installment this month but it has come down a lot actually because this was way up this was about 40 something cents about 42 cents the last time i checked it okay so if we go to the max and see exactly how high the s fuel token got bearing in mind this is not an s fuel video but it got to it got to 38 cents i believe it was a little bit higher than that i'm sure it was when i when i checked but um yeah unfortunately that's come all the way down and that's one of the annoying things because if i had all my tokens and they weren't vesting i could have taken profit up here okay but it is what it is that is available on bitmart as well i didn't actually know that um but you know spark point was on bitmart from the beginning it's also available on bit um, and pancake swap okay but going back to the the srk token right so they've literally just had some news Okay, if we go to the Telegram, you'll see they just announced the fact that they are listed on KuCoin now. Or well, they're going to be listed on KuCoin tomorrow. Okay, so for the Spark Point fans, that is definitely some good news. Now, this has always been a bullish project for me, although I haven't, you know, I did kind of get out of Spark Point originally. The reason why I sold out of Spark Point was not really much to do with spark point it was more to do with the exchange that it was on it was on bitmark only at the time okay and i fell out with bitmark exchange for the simple fact that they withheld some of my withdrawals for a very long time i couldn't access any of the money that i had uh, for something that happened that was nothing to do with me or anyone else i believe on the platform they were doing an investigation and um you know it uh they you know they withheld all withdrawals and stopped you know when you've got a lot of money in an exchange a centralized exchange it's a us based exchange by the way and when you've got a lot of money in a centralized exchange and they start withholding withdrawals it's a bit of a pain when you're trying to make a living from doing this right so that really annoyed me i ended up taking all of my money out a bit more eventually after however long it was i believe it might have been weeks before i was able to get my money out okay so when i was able I took my money and ran from Bitmart and I just focused on all the other exchanges that I was familiar with and no longer trade on Bitmart exchange. But before that, I had no problems with Bitmart at all. Okay, so give me problems and I will move on to another exchange. You know, I need to keep my money safe and use an exchange that I can trust. Okay, but going back to SRK, right? So SRK has had a little bit of a pump since that news okay we can see this movement over here but it does look like to be forming a rounding bottom okay but me i'm not the type of person to really buy these uh fomo pumps or, or i do but a very short term okay i'm in and i'm out okay i'm in i'll get a candle and i jump out okay but as you can see spark point has gone crazy already i'm sure it's done like more than a thousand percent on this little run here roughly about a thousand percent 988 percent okay so be careful if you are buying this but definitely great news for spark point being listed on qcoin and i'm looking forward to seeing whether s fuel can gain some ground back again because of course i have tokens that are vesting and I'm, I'm i'm waiting months for the rest of those okay 
quickly moving on to Fala. Okay, so it's just a quick update on Fala token. Uh, we talked about Fala ages ago on the channel, right? A long time ago, not not a long time ago, a couple of weeks ago, sorry. A couple of weeks ago, we talked about Fala and why I thought this was good. This is built on the Polkadot network. It's a privacy coin, okay? And I believe it's the first privacy coin uh, that was built on the Polkadot network, all right? So they've definitely got something going for them, okay? Um, this is loading um, at the moment. Um, so let's just, just refresh that. All right, but Fala, as you can see, you just saw that green candle, right? Fala has had a pump literally out of nowhere, all right? So me and a friend of mine, we've been expecting uh, Fala to pump, okay? Um, it didn't come until today or, or late last night by the looks of it, okay? So there's definitely some massive gains out of Fala. Um, of course, with a massive pump like that, you're going to see some profit taking, okay? So if we go from the bottom to the top, approximately 200 summit percent okay Fala went up and now it's pulled back all right guys so like i said before you know i'm not i'm not likely to buy into these pumps all right guys unfortunately i didn't have my position on Fala, but i just thought i'd give you an update on that if we go back to the one day you can see how big that candle was okay that's just crazy when you think it's all over right it goes up starts rolling back over and then all of a sudden you get pumped like that nothing could prepare you for that okay the only thing that could prepare you is if you were buying this support level over here so if you did manage to catch that support level well done you because that would have been probably you know your best trade of the last couple of weeks to be honest but um yeah definitely uh, looking good for Fala. Um, you know, it hasn't lost. I mean, look at that volume, right? That volume coming in is crazy. And you'll find a lot of the time um, with something like this, very high slippage, very volatile. Okay, if you try and put a lot of money into this, it's going to do like, it's going to like kind of push the price up. Okay, being a low market cap uh, token, let's just see exactly uh, what the market cap is seeing on Fala um, nowadays. So I haven't checked it in a few weeks. Uh, 120 million okay so it's still quite low with only a billion tokens right Fala could be i mean there's a lot of hype around this project okay um so yeah don't sleep on Fala. of course if if it was me not financial advice or anything like that but i'd be waiting for this to pull back if you were gonna like jump in on your position because there would have been a lot of profit taken up there but, you know, the fanboys of Fala, they may take profits. Seeing a candle like that, and, and let me just say something. Whenever I see a candle like that, I will always take profits, okay? Take it from me. You see a candle like that, so big, so huge, there's always going to be profit taking. Just take some profit. Trust me, you will be able to buy back lower. Not financial advice, okay? But, um, yeah, uh, uh, friendly advice, Okay, guys, so, yeah, take notice. All right, guys, but, yeah, I think that's about it. I just wanted to do a quick update on those two tokens. All right, so, SRK listing on KuCoin. It'll be interesting to see what volume comes in on SRK. And Fala, look at that volume, guys. Like the video, comment down below, let me know what you think. Subscribe and also tip the little bell so that you can get these videos as soon as they come out and you won't miss a thing. I'll see you in the next video.